do you not feel the same way? You've been doing everything you can to avoid associating the club with it, so I assumed you felt the same way about it. That's not true. Well, recalling her confrontations with Natsuki, a realization starts to set in. Hmm, you may be right. I mean, if it was anything besides manga, would I really be acting like this? Maybe I've just been convincing myself that it has nothing to do with the manga. I'm really upset that I would let myself do that. With a sigh, Monica walks over to the closet. She finds herself staring at the colorful shells. It's just, this really wasn't what I had in mind for the club about literature. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Monica starts defending her position once again. It's a complicated issue that Monica had failed to consider before now. Where is the line even drawn at what's considered literature? Lost in thought, she reaches into one of the larger box sets and pulls out a volume, inspecting it for no particular reason. The cover features four girls striking cute and exaggerated poses, all dressed in short skirts. Yeah, I mean... Amused by the absurdity of the cover, Monica opens the book. Oh, damn, that's it. This sucks. Why is Monica such a jerk? She should be grateful that I even joined her stupid club. It's not like she can find any members. Monica's usually really nice. She cares so much about everyone in the club being happy. Yeah, right. Well, she usually does. Maybe when she's not busy being so judgmental. So what if I'm into manga? Why can't just one person accept that? Instead of being so condescending about it. I accept it. I think it's cute. Oh, come on. That's condescending too. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I just want to support you. Natsuki sighs. I know. Thanks. It just really sucks. Do you want me to talk to Monica? I don't know. It's not like it's going to change her opinion of me. Like, even if you were to convince her to back off, that wouldn't suddenly make me feel like I'm actually welcome in the club. I should just find another club. Oh, wait, you don't have to do that. We can figure this out, please. I mean, I'm the vice president. Or at least, I think I am. I don't want you to leave. Everyone deserves to feel welcome and to be happy. So, I want to make that happen for you. Um, I was wondering... What was the reason you decided to join a literature club? Well, Natsuki hesitates. It's kind of dumb. Ah, uh, don't say that. There's no such thing as a dumb reason when everyone is welcome. I wasn't welcome. You were to me. So, just don't tell anyone, okay? Especially Monica. I promise. Natsuki sighs. I'm just tired of everyone judging me all the time. I can't enjoy any of the stuff I'm into without people making snotty comments about it. Not that I care about what anyone else thinks. But you know, the signs for the literature club said that you can be yourself or whatever. So I decided it was at least worth a shot. But that was a lie, apparently. Natsuki dejectedly kicks her the toe of her shoe against the wall. Oh, and I like writing too. Really? How come you didn't say that to Monica? Because... She was being so judgmental that I didn't just want to tell her something she wanted to hear. She didn't deserve that kind of satisfaction. And if she knew I was into writing, then she would just be like everyone else and try to push me away from the manga in favor of the more mature thing. Hmm. The two of them remain silent for a while. Sayori understands that it's out of the question for Natsuki to return to the club room for today at least. But Natsuki has a reason for wanting to join the club, just like everyone else. It's part of the club vision for her to be welcome. You deserve to express yourself as much as everyone else does. That's supposed to be what the club is for. So I'm going to do everything I can to fix this. I promise. Damn, my voice is already in shambles. It's lunchtime the next day. The cafeteria and hallways are bustling with students rushing to meet with their friends and make the most out of their limited break time. Where could she be? Among them is Monica, who always eats lunch in her classroom, but she has some additional business today. Fearing Natsuki would avoid coming to the club, Monica decided to try and find her during lunch so that she could make amends. After searching for an extensive time, Monica finally spots her. Despite her short stature, Natsuki's bright hair helps her stand out from the crowd. Oh gosh. Suddenly feeling awkward, Monica is afraid to get closer. Natsuki is with some friends who Monica doesn't recognize and they're all energetically chatting together. It would be really tactless to just interrupt them. Oh, this is different. Oh, f oh no, we have to make new voices now. Uh, I'm not gonna remember these voices. Okay, let's just do silly voices. Oh yeah? Did you just end up joining the Legend Club or what? Huh? Of course I joined, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I told you she would join. <laughs> Come on, you know she only joined because you wouldn't stop giving her crap about the anime club. I told you I never wanted to join that stupid club. Oh, sure. 
Well, you have to give her some credit for at least making an effort to finally grow past the trash. <laughs> True. Well, congrats on finally graduating middle school, Natsuki. We're proud of you. Shut up. Just let me do my thing. I'm just joking. You know we love you. Yeah. Once the literature club makes you a famous writer, we'll be the first ones to buy your book. What, you're gonna buy her smutty fan fiction? <laughs> well, obviously, I want a signed copy. That was like years ago. You don't think I've grown out of that by now? I told you I was joking. Besides, it's a good reminder of how far you've come since then. Not to mention, you couldn't have done it without us. That gives us a pass to joke about it. Yeah, sure. They grow up so fast, it brings a tear to my eye. Natsuki suddenly glances in Monica's direction, prompting Monica to quickly turn away and distance herself. What the heck? That was horrible. I should have said something to defend her. Why do I have to be so conflict avoidant? Not that I deserve to say anything. I'm hardly better than them after the way I treated her. I'm so awful. I'm not doing anything right. After school ends, Monica distractedly makes her way to the club room. She finds Yuri already inside, eyes on the book as usual. Monica picks a desk and slumps into it, something she seems to be doing rather often lately. Yuri, I don't think I could be club president. I suck at handling anything that doesn't go, like, exactly my way. Yuri looks up from her book. It's like, the literature club is a place where you get to express yourself, unless it's in a way that I don't like. I'm so mad at myself, and I'm especially mad that I didn't have the self-reflection skills to realise what I was doing. So much for maturity. Sorry, I really shouldn't be complaining out loud like this. There's just like, a lot on my mind. No, um, I enjoy listening. Really? Um, why? Yuri shrugs. It just makes me feel nice. Oh, well, okay, I guess I'll just continue then. Yuri nods. Yeah, I just, well, Natsuki has kind of a blunt attitude, you know? It makes me feel like she wasn't taking the club seriously. I couldn't even figure out why she wanted to join. I saw her friends talking to her in the hallway during lunch, and they were just so mean to her, telling her to grow up and stuff like that, that the literature club would help her grow out of her manga. It just made me so mad. Like, just let her enjoy it. It makes her happy. Why are you trying to take that away from her? And when I had that thought, it just, it was was when I came to the realization that I was kind of doing the same thing, just in a roundabout way. I should have made her feel good about being passionate about something, but I just dismissed it. No, I was actually trying to avoid acknowledging it at all. I even did that with you, Yuri, when you first joined the club. Y you did? Yeah, I remember. Fancy isn't really my thing, so I was kind of trying to dismiss it. 